you've been feeling like I'm doing all these things to make myself healthy and yet I don't feel whole, I don't feel balanced, I feel like something's missing, this explanation of the three bodies can give you some insight as to why that may be the case for you. Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome! Please consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'm going to talk about the concept of the three bodies. When I ask you this question, how many bodies do you think you have? What is the number that comes to your mind? I'll bet that three is not the first number that comes to your mind when I ask you this question. Most people say, bodies? We only have one body. It's this body right here. But actually, we have three bodies. We have more than just one body, more than two bodies. We have three total bodies that comprise our entire being. The three bodies that we have are one, physical body, two, energy body, and three, spiritual body. And in brain education, we say that we need to pay attention to all three bodies in order to feel healthy, happy, peaceful, but ultimately feel whole. Have you ever had this feeling where you don't feel quite whole? Like there's something off balance, even though you're eating well, even though you're sleeping well, even though you're exercising every single day, something about your inner being feels a little off. Like there's something missing or something off balance in your life. Where can that come from if truly the only thing that we possess is this physical body? Because think about it, if this physical body was the only thing that we had, if we ate healthy, ate all organic, really ate like salads and really healthy things every single day and then we exercised our physical body and then we slept really well and deeply, then shouldn't we feel balanced? Shouldn't we feel healthy? Shouldn't we feel complete with just those couple things? If the physical body was the only thing that we had, then yes, just eating well, sleeping well, and exercising should be enough to make you feel whole and complete. But we all know that there's more aspects, more layers, more things that we need as human beings in order to feel happy, healthy, and complete. So that is where the concept of the three bodies comes into play. And actually, the idea of the three bodies isn't anything new created by brain education out of thin air. It's actually something that is rooted in Hinduism, in New Age, in Buddhism, Taoism, and even Christianity. Of course, the expressions can be a little bit different and the way that they describe the three bodies differ depending on culture and interpretation, but at a foundational level, many spiritual practices and cultures talk about the three bodies. So to start off, let's talk about each one of these three bodies and how they relate to your health. The first body is your physical body. Now this is the body that everyone is familiar with. This is the body that most people pay attention to when they think about health. Your physical body is literally your physical body. It's this body that you can feel, you can feel the muscles, you know the bones, there's organs. This is your physical body. And your physical body is the foundation of your health. So this feeling of security, this feeling of feeling stable in your life comes from your physical body. And the ways to take care of your physical body are, of course, you guys already know, Eating well, so eating healthy, not eating junk food, eating good food that nourish your bones, your muscles, your cells, your blood, that kind of food, nourishing food to feed your physical body. Exercise to keep your muscles, bones, ligaments, tendons, everything circulating well and fresh. And then thirdly, sleeping well too. So getting enough sleep, getting quality sleep, so not just light sleep, but quality sleep. These three things, if you can do these three things, basic things well, then your physical body can be maintained in a relatively healthy state. So the second body that we have is the energy body. So if you're familiar with energy practices, sometimes they refer to the energy body as aura. Maybe you've taken an aura photo or an aura reading where they scan your, your body temperature and they give you different colors of your energy. So your energy body is something that is surrounding your physical body at all times. And this energy body is what dictates the amount of energy that you have at all times. So have you sometimes felt like 
you got 12 hours of sleep, but for some reason you still feel tired, or you eat well, you exercise well, but somehow you still don't feel good inside, that is your energy body responding to you. Another way to feel and know your energy body is, have you ever felt when you are next to somebody and without even speaking and you have no idea who this person is, you just feel like they have good vibes. Something about them makes you feel good. You don't know this person, you've never talked to them, but just being next to them, something about this person feels cool. Or on the other hand, just being next to somebody, something about this person feels off. Those vibes that you're feeling at that time is your energy body resonating with this person's energy body or reacting to this person's energy body. So that's another way where energy bodies are communicating and existing at all times, but not many people know about this and not many people are aware that this is happening in their lives. So a way to take care of your energy body is you need to have good relationships so this is not just sexual relationships with your boyfriend or girlfriend not like this any relationship in your life so like family relationship your co-worker relationship your neighbor's relationship but most importantly your relationship to yourself this energy body is very sensitive to how you manage yourself when you have a lot of baggage, you carry on a lot of stress, when you have a lot of this energy just piled on you from unresolved relationships, from unresolved stress, unresolved tension, self-hate, self-judgment, all of that, it bears weight on your energy body. And that's when people feel so heavy, so fatigued, so trapped, so lethargic, even though they're checking off all the boxes of being healthy. So your energy body is invisible, but yet it is clearly present and has a direct effect on your well-being. So some good ways to clear your energy body is doing things like yoga, meditation, mindfulness things to move energy, to purify and cleanse the energy. Just like your physical body needs a shower every single night before you sleep, same thing with your energy body through some meditation, through some yoga, through some mindfulness exercises, which we have a lot of on Brain Education TV through our 10-minute routine playlist. Those things will help you purify and cleanse your energy so that you can develop a better relationship with your mind and body and move stagnant energy inside to have a healthy, complete, and whole energy body. But if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of your energy body, I suggest reflecting on yourself and seeing the status of the relationship you have with yourself and others and seeing if there's opportunity for you to develop more love and compassion in those relationships with you and other people to enrich your energy body. And now the third and last body that we have, the spiritual body. The spiritual body is the entity or being or this life flow inside of you that questions your life purpose, questions your existence, questions the direction of your life. This thing that seeks to become better, this thing that seeks to connect with nature, to connect with heaven, to connect with other people, and seeks some kind of higher meaning and higher purpose in life that really really small seed desire that every single person has that is your spiritual body coming into play in your life so you can be physically fit you can have amazing relationships and yet the last component if you don't really know who you are or what your purpose is it's hard for that person to really feel complete and whole so your spiritual body is the body that questions your existence things like who am i where is my life going What's my life purpose? How can I help people more? How can I connect with others more? What is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of this universe? What is the meaning of God? What is the meaning of spirit? So a good way to enrich your spiritual body is to meditate and ask questions deep inside of you. Who am I? What is my purpose? Where did I come from? And where is my life headed to? When you find the answers to these questions through self-reflection, meditation, over and over again, because when you just ask one time, it's not gonna come. It's not gonna be an easy answer. You have to keep going in, in, asking, 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 asking. That journey 
and then the result of finding the answers to those questions that will enrich your spiritual body. Not only will it enrich your spiritual body, but it will also give you a deep sense of fulfillment because you know exactly what to do in your life. All human beings have this basic desire to know why they're alive. And if you can answer that question, then your spiritual body will be very strong and it will give you a great sense of fulfillment because you know exactly what and how to live your life. Your three bodies are related to your body's chakra system. We say that your physical body center is located in your second chakra, so two inches below your navel, two inches inside, that's your lower energy center of your physical body. Energy body is located in your heart chakra, fourth chakra, in the middle of your chest. This is your middle energy center. We say that is the house of your energy body. And then your spiritual body, we say, is housed in your sixth chakra. This is your upper energy center, the center that governs your spirit and intelligence and higher power, higher knowledge. This is where your spiritual body resides in your upper energy center. So now you know, if you've been feeling like I'm doing all these things to make myself healthy and yet I don't feel whole, I don't feel balanced, I feel like something's missing, this explanation of the three bodies can give you some insight as to why that may be the case for you. So if you really want to achieve wholeness, if you want to feel balanced, if you want to feel complete, please pay attention to all of your bodies, your physical body, energy body, and spiritual body. So what do you guys think about the three bodies? Is this your first time listening to the concept? Or maybe you're a seasoned spiritual veteran who's heard of the three bodies many, many times before. Whichever is the case, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please write in the comments down below what you guys think about the three bodies. And if there's something that you know that I missed in this video, I'd love to hear them too. So leave me some comments down below in this video and I'd love to read every single one of them. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!